What is up? Got a nice, quick, easy one today. Um, let me get you turned around. All right. So, one thing I've been dealing with on my 8.6 is a high idle issue. Um, done all the things. Um, replaced the intake manifold gasket, new TPS, um, you know, have done everything aside from fogging it. Actually, I did smoke it. Um, no, couldn't find any leaks. Um, some people suggested that it was the IACV um, letting air in, even though it's all blocked off. Somehow it's letting air in. Don't understand how that would even be possible. So I had 20 people recommend a block off plate. So I ordered a block off plate and that's what we're gonna install today. Oh, look at those. Oh yeah. Um, I, had a, I had a pretty cool video set up for last week, but what ended up happening was, <clears throat> let me show you. So obviously I got those ITVs. Um, my buddy let me borrow this. <clears throat> Just a mega squirt setup. Uh, supposedly came off an A86, um, and I plugged it in, and I kind of crossed my fingers, and didn't start. So uh, I didn't run. So it's like six o'clock in the morning right now. It's about the only time I have to work on anything. So I'm gonna get you guys set up in uh, in the stand. And then we're gonna go to town, taking off the straw body. All right. All right, let's get after it. I gotta take the throw cable off, obviously. The brand of this is um, KSD Engineering. One thing that was pretty cool even came with the Toyota gasket. Pretty sweet. Alright. I think that's everything. Now we just gotta actually pull it off.
probably have this throttle body out. I'm hoping that gasket lives. Okay, let me get you set up over here on the table. Pull that up. There she is. And this is what we're removing. So let's uh already seeing something that's going to be fun. These screws are kind of mangled. Alright, well, we're this far in, let's do it. Alright, I got a couple different flavors of screwdriver. down two down let's see it looks like there's five oh wow One more underneath this guy. Okay. Wow, that is amazing. these screws out in order to they're probably all the same but sorry I'm trying to film and do this okay Hoping these are all the same size. Those are pain when there's longer ones. Come on. Tell you what, it's peaceful working out at five o'clock in the morning. A little chilly. All right. What's it gonna look like underneath there, huh?
Am I missing something here? that off. Sorry if I'm breathing like a mouth breather, man. to do it like this, but it's a fresh blade, there's no nicks in it, should be alright. away from yourself. Dumb-dumb. Oh. Man, that gasket was rock hard. I'm sure it was still doing its job, but... this was still doing its job. I'm kind of annoyed to even have to do this because I feel like I've done a good job working on this thing and it's still giving me a high idle. So it's annoying me a little bit. When I know this is not, it's not going to do anything. I just know it's not. Those ports were 100% blocked off. <coughs> Unless it was sucking in air from around here, that would be the only way that it could have possibly been causing a vacuum leak. 
and this gasket seemed like it was on there pretty good. There we go. This doesn't fix it, I think I'm gonna go and do another TPS adjustment, even though the car runs amazing. It just idles high. And sometimes it doesn't idle high. It's, it makes no sense. Dude. So, weird situation I'm dealing with. carb cleaner real quick. I'll be right back. And we're back. I'm going to spend a little bit more time. Scraping up these guys. Even though you can't even feel it with your finger. Yeah, you can't even feel it. And <clears throat> it might be hard to see, you see little scratches, but it probably shows up more on the camera. They're like almost nothing. All right, let's call that good. Um, my instinct is to want to put RTV on this. but I don't think I'm going to. And you can see carburetor's pretty clean. Feel it really with your finger, barely. Yeah, carburetor's clean, throttle plates clean. So, can't begin the leak from there. Do we put RTV on here? This is a question. Boxing. Ooh. 
see here. Oh, that's nice. That should be good. I'm gonna go no RTV. It's a shame putting. <coughs> it's a shame putting uh, these old screws. This dumb, <clears throat> dumb one just hanging out. Wish I could get rid of that. Could cut it, put a cap on it a little bit lower, but I don't want to do all that. I'm just kind of snugging them right now. So I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Actually, I want to get this one down snug. So we're going to do one, two, three, four,
never know how to <coughs> torque these. Never really looked it up, but I figured a crisscross pattern would probably be the best. Way to do it. <laughs> Go to your home. out of here and we'll start it up and see what it sounds like all right so <clears throat> ideally it should be at about 1200 rpm Got to plug in. All right. We're still in. Let's try this again. It's never this hard to start in the morning. Normally it's it takes a little bit of eleven, but Try something. Dang old screwdriver don't want to fit in there.
This shouldn't matter though. Cause Yes.